thing, but a lot of people didn't show up. Um, but you know, Mia, there were signs, there were lots of signs where, like, I think it was at a Tommy Smile an online tournament where he just beat Mia as a uh, right. In Game & Watch is the worst matchup. So, like, Boy was putting the work online, and then uh, he's been doing very good offline as well. We're excited to see his run here today, but yeah. right now we got Nepo versus Alice. And, and to clarify, um, was it um, uh, Yoshidora beat, just beat Mia? Right. So we'll see him in the, the losers, but until then, Alice versus Repo. Yeah, zooming over here to losers top 16. We got best of five. Alice coming fresh off of, of a win versus Senra. If you don't know Senra, one of the top Jigglypuffs in Japan, and yeah. now he's facing down one of the top Mega Mans we have here. It's been, yeah. It's <sighs> Repo's, uh, he got top four, or top eight, one of the uh, other Kageribis. There was a lot of Mega Man. Ooh, man, just uppercut. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why he got top four, right? He's this man. But it didn't work. Tries to hit him with the sneaky crash bomber off the Angel platform. That is tricky because, you know, they're invincible, but mm -hmm. they still get hit. It's not that they're intangible. Yeah, it, they, it still sticks to them. Oof, bad up air. Whoa, <laughs> the cheeky little duck. He didn't have to do that. But he wanted to. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I feel like Jeez. he doesn't have to do any of this. He's just <laughs> putting on a show for us right now. Almost hitting with iron knuckles. Yeah, we don't really... S Mega Man kind of... like. I remember people like early on in Ultimate's life were talking about Mega Man, like, really hype. But he kind of fell off. But um, I think uh, he's still good. I think so too. I think he's definitely like an inkling tier where this character came out. Or like Meta Knight where the character came out week one and people were like, yo, this character busted. And you had lots of players like Yeti putting in lots of work with the character. And then it That was a really unfortunate drop there. Yeah, right? But yeah, Repo's still out here repping the name. Here we go. Nice back throw. Off stage. Bad position for Roy. What are we going to do here? Oh, Gank recovery. Yeah. Oof. Almost hit him with the flame, man. Grab your blade. Oh no, bad buster. Yeah, this is a cheeky little buster. <laughs> I thought he'd just walk right into it. <laughs> oh, wow. Repo's been... I'm not sure if he's DIing or if Alice is not hitting like the right moves. But like he's been escaping death. Like He just escaped a neutral air kill. I think it's both. I think up until that up air right there, he's just been hitting sour spots and DIing them really well. Okay. Nice grab. Ooh, beautiful this, reset. This is where Roy shines, getting in there and swinging away. Absolutely, just swinging straight into the buffet here. Ooh, 65, still climbing. 79 off the side here. Can he make it back? Nice air dodge. Well, that Ooh. was interesting tech. Air dodge into the crash bomber. Right to get your uh, up B back. Uh, screen. Nai, Gama Nakanai. Okay. Anyway, sorry. We're uh, we're remote here in uh, Nakano. Uh, the tournament's in Osaka, so we're streaming with the power of uh, of magic. Nay. I died. I died. Okay. We're back. Anyway. So. Ooh, good up smash. So in that uh, technical difficulties, uh, pretty even game, all things considered. I wanted to point out here that the the forward air from Mega Man, not only is it similar to Roy's forward air, I think it's similar in terms of like how safe it's on shield. It looks super safe on shield here. Yeah, it's oh. really sad. Ooh, good kill. And game one goes to Alice. Yeah, that's so weird that you'd say it's basically the same thing. It is, right? You can't touch me. <laughs> It's so safe on shield. As the set wears on, everyone watching this, I want you to just watch how he tries to poke with the, the forward air as Mega Man. Okay. All right, we get a little bit of audio. You can hear the uh, bit of the Japanese dub. <laughs> Dubs or subs? So there's this, the uh, thing about subs, that means there's subtitles. And there's no subtitles in real life. It's true. So dubs are real life. Yep. Yeah, because uh, recently uh, tourism opened up uh, for Japan. So I'm wondering how many people are freaked out now that they come to Japan and... Uh, there's no subtitles? <laughs> you get you get greeted at the at the customs and like, what do you have in your bag and why are you coming here? And they're like, where are the subtitles? <laughs> <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's how it does. Anyway, let's get into this. Game two, Alice versus Repo. Going to interesting choice. 
I guess my mindset, if you're a Mega Man, you probably want to uh, maybe a bit more stage to run around on instead of having, you know, Roy being able to get in closer easier, but Repo's, he knows more about Rockman than I do. Oh, absolutely. This guy knows. He can rock and roll with the best of them. Nice. He wanted that pivot grab. I mean, the roll was kind of obvious there, but a little bit late on the execution. Nice. Why was he ducking? Sometimes you just gotta feel. You just want to feel safe. It, it's true. Yeah. Yep. Ducking is in the fetal position is the safest mm -hmm. place you can be. And plus, it's kind of get a threaten with um, down tilt because it, that is a slide. Oh yeah, very very true. So this is interesting. They're actually not at super uneven percentages here. Like it's a very thin margin that separates the two. However, Alice's pressure just makes it really look like this game has been in his favor the whole time. And nice back air, almost killing Rockman here. Gonna need a bit more than that though. Oh yeah, he just gets him with the old poke on the crash bar. Ooh, there you go. See, there's that down tilt. But unfortunately. Roy got the uh, he got the sword. Yeah, he's got the sour patch combos. That sour spot up air into the true. This Mega Man color does look like, look like a sour patch kid. Yeah, he, do he does. Yeah, that's a great point. What what? It's been a hot minute. Yeah, they're not available in Japan. You gotta go to the base for those. Absolutely. Okay, he's got Ooh. the blade. He's getting bladed in the back here. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's death. That's a hard tech to hit. Yeah. Yeah. No one tech that. No one techs that. All right, but but uh, Alice got Repo in the corner and doing a really good job of just keeping him there. All right, hits him with the Roy Fair. <laughs> <laughs> hits him with his own medicine. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Repo, though, he's bringing the technology. This is looking like, I don't know, the was it the Nintendo Space Center Expo 93 right now? He's in with all the new technology. Right. One thing I really like about Alice is he's really good about using the Metal Blade. It's true, yeah. I mean, this is the top player item awareness. Is like you play against Diddy, you play against Mega Man all day, you yep. play against good peaches. You got to know how to use a kit against them, right? Right, exactly. Wait. Oh, speaking of moldy peaches here, that was an unfortunate <laughs> whiff. Yeah, and now uh, Repo is in the corner and pretty bad. It was pretty bad there, but it's all. That uh, good forward air. Yo, that was some Sonic hacks right there. He, Hook up the mons. Absolutely. Nice stuff. Oof. But Dancing Blade, gonna keep the pressure on, and. It's nothing you can do there. Yeah. That's like. That's definitely, a, again, like another flaw of Mega Man is that he doesn't really have any good, like, panic buttons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was just inevitable. Like, you see, you're about to die. Like, point of view, Franz Ferdinand before the First World War. You're just, <laughs> you're just assassinated there. You're, you're, you're Audi. Audis. <laughs> <laughs> One could say that about Franz Ferdinand. <laughs> he was out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, that's what I put on my uh, my history 105 <laughs> term paper. That's how I passed AP U.S. history. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> hey, I got an A in that class, and I only went for the final in the midterm. Wow, that's some um, college kid strats in high school. Yeah. Mm. Well, this was a high school, college class, but... Ah, I see. Anyway. Getting into game number three here, Alice. The run back on small battlefield. Um, <sighs> I think the big problem is Repo... He's good about stacking up damage, but he cannot finish the job. I oh, he gets those stacks, right? Yeah, but... The thing about Mega Man, he does have, like... His kill buttons aren't as ignorant as Roy's. That's a good word. I like that word. Ignorance is <laughs> definitely, I don't know, it kind of looks like a factor here where the repo is definitely playing like three dimensional chess, right? Where he's like, oh, I want to keep him at this range, I want to keep him out, I want to handle my kid, I'm going to mix it up. Whereas, like, Alice, I'm not saying he's not playing well, he's playing very well, but he can go in, he can force the issue, right? Yeah, let's put it this way Repo has to make maybe five good guesses. Alice probably only needs like two or three. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, and that's good guess number five. Yeah, that was just a setup actually. Good stuff on the Trump, but this could be a stock for Alice. Ooh. Yeah, that is such a scary position there against the young Duke of Death himself, Roy. Up be yeah. off the top, send him all the way, scroll into the top of the Wikipedia page, like look up my frame data. Right, yeah, yeah Roy does definitely has some uh, ignorant frame data. 
I leave shield now. Yeah, helping out a little bit. Oh, oh no. Getting man. in there. Good stuff to Alice, knowing that Repo would come down with that aggressive forward air, punishing him for it. Really good play here. I, it's kind of becoming clear that Alice is doing really well in this matchup. That said, though, he did just whiff two big up Bs. And I they actually got punished. That's true. The thing about up B when it's grinded is frame four, it's got armor. So you can kind of ignore mm. <laughs> some of the options that are coming out from Mega Man. Ooh, oh. rather the air dodge Nash. with, the, uh, with the, uh, the Mr. Fister over there. Yo, Repo, I didn't know you were nasty with it. <laughs> okay, down throw. Yeah, some guaranteed damage. Try to juggle him with that tornado. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Good spacing here, and now it looks like Repo has uh, kind of found his rhythm. Oh, yeah, this is definitely look like, looking like a mu music rhythm game, mm -hmm. if you will. All right, but uh, don't count Alice out on the corner. It's a scary situation. Absolutely, yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is scary. Oh my god, he's trying to. I like the crouch because it, it it low profile the uh, the nair. It did, yeah. Like we. Oh, you never see that move come out from ways. It's kind of a a last resort kind of a move. This is my last resort. Exactly, and then man, boom. Mm -hmm. The cue the music comes out, knocks him out with the with the Roy move there. Good yeah. stuff. Nice. Anyway, good, yeah, good job there for uh, Repo staying in uh, winner side. For the moment. Yeah, for the moment. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want, you do not want to go into the uh, the loser side of this tournament. Yeah, no time to rest on your laurels here. Maybe Alice. I don't know. I'm not saying you got comfortable here. Actually, no. This is losers. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, losers top 16. Yeah. So, to put it this way, Abadongo's out. Uh, Semra's out, Hikaru's out, Omu, well, Omuatsu's still in. Um, well, hold up, who did Amadango lose to in Losers? Now, now the Mario. Uh, Kome is out. Uh, poor dude chokes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Shulk fans. Uh, Shulk choke? Basically. Shulk Hogan, but no Shulk Hogan in this match. <laughs> also, this is like a, re like a weird counter pick because... Repo's playing the green Mega Man. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, the green Pokemon Stadium. I also go and teal. It's kind of like tennis courts, right? Like either pick green or teal. Right. You never pick both. Right. Not much for tennis. Oh there. my hey. god, what a crazy conversion off that Metal Blade. That's what I like to see about Alice. You know, like he is, he's just wacky. He's probably the wackiest Roy. Yeah, he's definitely a... Uh, Definitely a lunatic. Oh, absolutely. This man coming at you with the, the Looney Tunes show on repeat. Here we go. Okay, gets him with the fair. Resets neutral. Oh, he, yo, yo, you see that? He's trying to knock him down. He is fishing for a knockdown read here. Ooh. What's that going to get the uh, really cool ladder combo? Yeah, just a really cool confirm. Ah, My man. No punish. Don't want no busters. Yeah, buster is a bit too slow, but thankfully the back here is not slow. Yeah, that's a very good back air. I mean, I think like most back airs in this game are pretty dumb. <laughs> what a funny interception there where he just like jumps off stage, gets the crash bomb stuck to him, and now they have this weird like dance at the ledge with who's going to have the crash bomber on them. It's like a drinking game. Who's going to be stuck with the crash bomb? Absolutely. That was a game of King's Cup right there with Ooh. a bomb. Okay, off the top there. Man, Roy getting a lot of kills off the top of the set. I think it's because um, Mega Man does like jumping a lot because his aerials are good and just he can make those um, like Metal Blade go out a like a good angle. Same with the Leaf Shield. Yeah, aside from Lemons, he doesn't really have any moves that he can use aside from aerial. So you got a great point there where Alice pretty much knows it's going to be an aerial or a special. Yeah, like he also. Ooh, there we go. Nice uh, hit confirm. Sure you can. That was beautiful. That was Street Fighter 6. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, he almost got the kill there. Oh uh, man, I wish, was, I wish I was playing it right now. Anyway. You can, in a world of pure imagination. Second <laughs> hit of Nair, here we go. Alright. Uh, nah. Ooh, good DI out. 
Yeah, that was a really good DI out, and the percent also helping him get away from that. Oh, no. oh my oh, no. god, is no, he about like to this. flip the script on him? <laughs> he hits oh, him with Mr. The mouth. Fister again. Oh boy, wow, that was that was something else, Z Mangs. What a beautiful turnaround. That was pretty uh <laughs> that was pretty crazy. That was pretty intense. So Repo not wanting to get knocked out here. Gets Alice staying on. Staying on really well. That was pretty good uh, cleanup there. Can you imagine jumping in there and then a giant metal fist comes down and hits you on the head? That would hurt. That would be, <laughs> that'd be painful. Disgustingly painful. I mean, that, I mean, then again, like, I don't think it'd be really much better to get hit by a flaming sword. Anyway, once again, game five on the Pokemon Stadium 2. Remit Raining, shaky of his favorite game, Pokemon Unite. Oh, yeah, yeah, but we, we, we won't have any of that. We don't talk about that. <laughs> that was an interesting conversion. That was that was just a raw runoff. Down throw, single lemon, though. My man making an album, Lemonade. Here we go. We. I like it. Chase down. The sliding up till just hit him for that damage. Nice. Not enough to kill, though. Oof. That was interesting. Nice. Air dodge. Uh, hanging on a prayer. Halfway there, making it back. You're still out of the woods. Okay, now the neutral's been reset. Oh, man, if he did a neutral get up there, he would have been out of there. Both these guys fishing for their kill confirm, their kill confirm so hard. Right. Look Ooh. at the patience, man. Is it no, you move. No, 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 no. You, you move. No, you move. You. Ah, oh, big punish. Yo, that could have been it. I don't think he needs to go for that at 107, though. I think that's more of a tell. It's like when your opponent is that, like, at kill percent, you get, ah, uh, like, oh. like that. you get kind of television and you just want to finish your opponent off. I get that all the time. I get that, too. And, like, at the low level, you see people, like, mashing F smash. And I guess at this level, it's just mashing your up tilt. Nice. Okay. Now, that, that is a nuanced take on how to kill someone, right? That was what he needed. Yep, let Shrimp into the back air, and now Rippo is uh, evening it up. It's a, it's absolutely wild to me how many hitboxes he can put out in a single second where he's dropping the metal blade, catching the metal blade, throwing out the up air, throwing out the drag down back air. He always has something on screen just to annoy you. Yeah. Oof. Man, look at these short hops, the pressure, the metal oh, blade, almost no. hit him with the iron knuckle again. Ooh, man. Both these guys are going to a, it's going a bit too crazy. Yeah. They got to calm down. These guys are about to invent a new genre of hip hop. All right, back throw. Calling out. No fourth hit on the dancing blade. Yeah, like you said, just keeping something on screen. Oh, nice snare. Yeah, I knew he wanted to drop it there and just catch the, nullify his projectile and get your hitbox out. Beautiful. <laughs> Good catch up. Oh, I wanted to read on the uh, tech chase, but not going to happen, bro. Looking like a father-son relationship right now with how much catch ball they're playing with the, the items. Yeah, and how much they're hitting each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we didn't grow up in the best of homes. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so, here we go, down throw. All right. Alice bringing it to set point right now. But, and keeping the pressure on. Ooh. Ooh, hits him with a monster blazer, keeps him in disadvantage. This is looking like Alice's game to lose. This is right. a very comfortable lead. Still, don't count out Repo. <laughs> he, he just needs, if he could get this stock without taking any more damage, then I feel like it's still uh, anyone's game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roy's got like a decent amount of extra credit, like enough to kill, actually. Like, okay, yeah, now. Now it's a pretty bad situation for Repo. Yeah, this is dire straits, my man. Okay, yeah, you, okay. From downtown, okay. <laughs> oh, from downtown Chicago, we present to you final stock here. My small uh, top 16, Alice takes got, game a bit too, got too greedy there. That moment when you too greedy. He was way too greedy. He should have just, I mean. Settle for the draw. Yeah, just, just reset the neutral. Yep. Yep, you, you, not every situation, not every interaction is interaction where you win. There's a lot of interactions where you have to Doctor Strange that and be like, yo, I just saw the future. Mm -hmm. And there's one out of 17 million places where I win this interaction and I have a much better chance of just walking away in this position. Exactly. 
But uh, anyway, good stuff there to Alice moving on, and he will be fighting uh, Nie Tono in Losers. We got Maida Kun uh, stepping in front of the stage in front of the camera for a second there. I can't. I, I really hope um, 